Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Thomas. Do- Tommy Dewey. <laughs> oh, Thomas, my formal name. Oh, very hey. formal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas. You know, we're in the South. You can be pretty formal. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for having us. Well, it's my pleasure. If I can start with Michaela, love the name. Oh, thank I want to talk about casual. Uh, you guys are playing a really big role on the tw- on, on the uh, the episode that airs on the twenty seventh. From what I understand. <laughs> You guys wrote this episode? Yeah, we did. Uh, Tommy and I wrote it together. Um, I don't know what they were thinking, but they let us. <laughs> and um, we, had, we had a really, really, really fun time. Because truthfully, you know, when you, we're, we're sort of creators in that, in that everything we've written, we have, we've never been staffed on a show before. It's always been something that we've created. And to be able to write uh, with such in, inside knowledge about who these characters are was so thrilling. It was it was really a high. It was amazing. It was really fun. We got to Tommy, sp- spend two three weeks yeah, together. Give us the basis of excuse me. Give us the basis of casual because I'm looking at my Facebook post and some people are saying what's casual. What's casual? Tell That's a great is. question. Facebook. Tell them, Tommy. It is a great question. I mean, it's it's a it's a really sharp, honest look at at, at modern relationships uh, told from the point of view of of, of a really sort of screwed up pair of siblings that come from a, a kind of a dark past. I, I, you know, I describe, it's a true dramedy. There's, yeah, I think it can be laugh out loud funny and in the next moment sort of uh, heartbreakingly Heartbreaking. sad. I, I think for actors, it gives us, it allows us to, you know, do all the things it's you want to like do. It's like life, you know, how life, you, <laughs> one minute you're laughing and the next minute it kind of gets real. Yeah. And um, you exactly. know, it's about these guys. You know, it's it's it looks at the question: if it, what if your what if your sibling was the only person in the world who who really got you? Um, you know, what's good about that? What's kind of limiting about that? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to meet your primary romantic partner when your sort of non-sexual soulmate is your sibling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what part of what part of that is in uh, uh, of you guys are in casual? Is it just? We just wrote this, but there's none of me. What what, what part of that? Um, what, I'm sorry. What part of of casual? What part of yeah? What part when when we see uh, uh, the uh, episode on the 27th? Is there any part of you guys that are in that? Of Tommy Not, and Michaela. Aside from being great writers. Right. Oh well, you know we play the brother sister. So um, yes. So it it's. It was just really cool because what's really funny is that um, I always joke that my character acts between the lines because my character sort of, she's very um, uh, kind of repressed. Like she holds back a lot until she lets things just burst and tumble out until like the like a powder keg ready to just blow. And so she, you know, we mostly see her, all the things she's trying not to say. And so for, for me, it was really fun for our, our episode. We wrote that um, everything that's happening to my character is sort of happening in her mind and in a fantasy and what she'd really like to express and play out. And then I'll let you say for your, for your character for our episode. Yeah, no, I mean, I think in terms of, I'm not sure if this is what you're mm-hmm. asking, but in terms of like what, what like pieces of my personality end up in this um, in this character, I, it's probably more than I would care to admit, but I think... Uh, oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> I, uh, I think I deflect with humor, much like Alex does. If people kind of get too close, um, you know, I'll... I'll fire a shot across the bow with a with a with with a cynical barb or something, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, it was it, writing this episode was a cool experiment. We've been playing these guys for a couple of years, so to get to um, you know put on the writer's hat, um, you know, it was it, it was it was a tough challenge, but I think it also 
you know, there was it a made flow us better to writers, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It made us yeah. better writers because the, the third, show is well written. This is the third season. It's a Golden Globe nominated comedy series. How how important is it for you guys to be attached to something like that? Well, I like to attach myself to successful television. <laughs> <laughs> um, and luckily, this is one of those shows. Um, uh, no, but but truly, uh, I'm so proud of this show. Um, it Everybody, the crew is incredible, the producers, the writers, the creators, um, all, all our co-stars. And um, we have an incredible guest cast this year, uh, mm -hmm. just incredible people. And the caliber is really high. And I think people have come to our show and, and guessed it on our show and said they could just feel it, it, you know, the vibe of our set is, it just feels like a very special place. It feels, um, everybody f feels very appreciated and um, we all work really hard, but we do it, um, you know, we do it efficiently and uh, we tell stories that feel very personal to us and it's very fulfilling. So uh, this is the best job personally I've ever had. I would, I all would, right. I would agree. Who, who's got the best shows? I always say that. When you guys want us to watch? Oh, anytime you want, because Hulu is streaming, and so you can, just not while you're driving. How about that? Right. All right. I like that. <laughs> I really like that. Michelle Watkins and Tommy Dewey, thanks for talking about Casual. And we'll be there on the 27th to see how great you guys still continue to be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.